covering her face in tears and kisses. After they handed my dead girl to my sister, who kissed her, then to my first husband, who kissed her, then to my mother, who could not bear to hold her, then out of the hospital room door, tiny, lifeless, swaddled thing, the nurse gave me tranquilizers and a soap and sponge. Yeah, I think it's um, it's definitely a project that people enjoy because, like, the authenticity factor. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's something I was really... Um, my kind of journey up into being, you know, the founder of Hindsight 20-something and doing the book and the podcast and working with writers and the website and all these things and social. Yeah. I was a poet, right? And I still yeah. am. And a creative writer. Creative nonfiction is really um, one of my favorite mediums, especially the personal essay and the memoir. Yeah. So there's actually some books on my desk here. Chronology of Water. I've, I've oh, shouted this book yeah. out before by Lydia Yuknovich. You can take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Show them for the people. Check hey. It Check it out, everybody. Yeah. Um, What's it about? So that book um, changed my life. I've read it like three or four times. Yeah. I read it when I was like a junior in college. It was like 2021. 20, mm-hmm. It's a memoir by a Northwest writer um, who has since blown up, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, she had a really popular book called The Small Backs of Children, mm-hmm. which uh, was printed by Scholastic. It's oh. somewhere around here. Maybe we'll pull it out. Yeah. But um, basically, she, it's a memoir about her life. She grew up with a really abusive father mm-hmm. and an alcoholic and, like, pill-addicted mother. Okay. And she grew up in Florida, and she was a really, really, really awesome swimmer. Oh. Um, and she basically went on this crazy life journey um, where she got a full-ride scholarship to, to swim at Texas Tech University. Mm-hmm. She also got offers, though, from, like, Ivy League schools. Mm-hmm. But she, um, her father was very, like, he, he, it was kind of a, like, oh, you think you're too good, you're better than us? Like, you're not going to that fancy school. Oh, that wow. kind of abuse, right? Yeah. Literally just, like, holding her down. Um, and then she went on this crazy journey of drugs and writing and reading and abuse and, wow. um, when she started actually writing, though, like like this book, like what happened was she actually had a stillborn baby. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So really powerful. The intro is amazing. Um, and this is the kind of shit that this is what I'm so pumped up about is this kind of writing. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is definitely these kind of um, these kind of really influence me to be the writer I am and expect yeah. the kind of writing and want to create the kind of writing and honesty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, in, in like hindsight or my own work, mm-hmm. the day my daughter was still born after I held the future pink and rose lipped in my shivering arms, lifeless, tender, covering her face in tears and kisses. After they handed my dead girl to my sister who kissed her, then to my first husband who kissed her, then to my mother who could not bear to hold her, then out of the hospital room door, tiny, lifeless, swaddled thing, the nurse gave me tranquilizers and a soap and sponge. She guided me to a special shower. The shower had a chair, and the spray came down lightly warm. She said, that feels good, doesn't it? The water. Mm -hmm. She said, you are still bleeding quite a bit. Just let it. Ripped from vagina to rectum, sewn, closed, falling water on a body. I sat on the stool and closed the little plastic curtain. I could hear her humming. I bled, I cried, I peed, and vomited. I became water. Wow. Like, that's the beginning, right? Oh, my gosh. That's paragraph one. Yeah.